So I've received quite a lot of requests from people asking what they should invest their money in and although there's no correct answer for this question because it's different for each and every investor but what I usually recommend is to invest in an exchange traded fund also known as a ETF. This is just my opinion and this is not financial advice at all. The reason I'm recommending ETFs over individual stocks is because it is a lower risk investment and it diversifies your portfolio and it actually gives you a better average return over a, a long period of time. Investing in individual stocks is a more difficult task because um, average investors don't necessarily have the time or the knowledge to analyze a company and um, to, to be 100% certain that you will make money over the long term. Make sure to stay until the end of the video to see which ETFs I recommend and what the average one year return was. So we get different types of ETF funds that tracks different parts of the economy and this is important because we have to understand which ETF we want to invest in. There's four different index types and let me show you what they are. The first one is a fund that tracks The first one tracks a company size. This is small caps, mid caps and large cap companies. Then we get a fund that tracks currencies. This is like bonds and treasuries. Then we get location which can be like the United States or emerging markets. And the last one is business types. So this could be financials, um, industrial, or even tech companies that's been tracked by your fund. These are the funds that I would recommend. It's Signia and Satrix and I'm invested in both of these funds. So we'll jump to my screen quickly and I'll show you guys which funds you can invest in. When it comes to Satrix, one of the funds that I would recommend is the Satrix Top 40. And it's this one. I'll click on it. And here we can see if we invested one year ago, we would have received a 13.96% return um, on our investment which is great because when you save your money in a bank they will probably only give you three or four if you're lucky five percent and the top 40 the the satrix 40 etf is basically a, a, a etf that tracks the top um, of the 40 largest companies that is traded on the johannesburg stock exchange Another fund that you can invest in is known as the Satrix S&P 500. And you've probably heard of the S&P 500. This is basically the Standard & Poor's 500 companies, uh, which is the largest weighted companies in the United States. Um, if you invested one year ago on in this specific fund, you would have received a return of 19.08%. And that's actually, that's a really, really good return. Um, and then another thing or another fund that I would recommend um, you invest in is known as Satrix MSCI World. And if we invested one year ago, you would have received 13.61%. So these are three funds that I love to invest in and I dollar cost average into these funds as soon as I have extra money. Um, you get the Satrix version and then you get the Signia version. So both of them um, use the same strategy. The only difference is um, the management fees. So when you invest in an ETF, you get charged a management fee for the company to manage your money. Um, and overall, this is a really small amount 
for example, the the S and P five or the Satrix S and P five hundred's man management fee is around zero point zero six nine percent. Um, and this is great because you can invest in a, a fund without a lot of management cost and you, you invest your money and you, you just kind of leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video so far. Um, the funds that I recommended is funds that I invest in. Like I said, you get the Signia and the Satrix version. And when you invest in these three funds, you are well diversified. Go have a look on their website and read up on the fund to see what exactly it is that they do. Um, and this will give you a great indication of, of the fund's strategy. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, uh, share this with your friends and family. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have a specific ETF that you maybe invest in. And I'll see you guys in the next video.